this was a study that took people who do not exercise at all and uh, gave them free gym memberships and asked them to use it and also had them keep track of other aspects of willpower, what they were eating, uh, how much they were procrastinating, um, how much they were spending and whether they were doing impulse purchases, um, smoking, caffeine use, anything you can think of as being a kind of basic uh, willpower challenge, even, even how well they were able to control their temper. And the research found that in the beginning, of course, it took a while to get them to use their gym membership. They were exercising once a week at first and then building up to a couple of times a week. And by the end of the study, a couple months in, um, people who were able to exercise a little bit more were actually also making these amazing changes in every other willpower domain even though the researchers had not asked them to. So they were eating less junk food, they were smoking less and using less caffeine, they were reporting, procrastinating less and being better able to control their tempers and blah, 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 everything you can imagine. And so I call it this kind of, um, this miracle willpower cure because they changed one thing, uh, but it had this kind of overall effect on making good choices that were consistent with their well-being and consistent with their goals. And this is just one study that demonstrates how helpful physical exercise is for willpower. And it's kind of funny because a lot of people will tell me that it takes willpower to exercise. Like that's what they want the willpower for, to exercise. Um, but exercise is, you know, of anything that you could do to, to change your brain, to train your brain, and also to reduce stress so that you're going to be better able to have willpower in other domains, exercise is definitely it. Uh, for those two reasons, because of how it specifically changes the brain. And we aren't entirely sure why, but there's something about the metabolic demands, particularly cardiovascular exercise, that seems to improve the cardiovascular health of the brain and increase the brain health of the prefrontal cortex specifically. And you can even see it as a training effect. You, you take people who are sedentary, have them exercise with moderate cardiovascular exercise, you can see them improve in neuropsychological tests of executive function and prefrontal cortex function, and then you make them stop exercising and they deteriorate again. So it's something that, that happens you know, in a very fast training response, doesn't take years of training. Um, so exercise, that's our, our willpower miracle. 